In this video, we're going to be talking about installing the EasyStone macro here into your version of CorelDRAW. Now, this is a very straightforward process, but there are a few key elements to keep in mind. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is the difference between CorelDRAW X5 and CorelDRAW X6. Now, those are the only two versions of CorelDRAW that EasyStone works with, so you must have at least CorelDRAW X5. Now, CorelDRAW X5 was only offered in a 32-bit version, all right? Now, in CorelDRAW X6, we have a 32-bit version and a 64-bit version. Now, both the 32-bit and the 64-bit version can be run on a Windows 64-bit machine. Now, what we have found with our EasyStone users that the CorelDRAW X6 64-bit version on some computers, just the CorelDRAW X6 64-bit, is a bit buggy. And so EasyStone only works with CorelDRAW X6 32-bit. But even if you have a Windows 64-bit computer, again, you can install the 32-bit version of CorelDRAW X6 on your 64-bit system. Um, and we would definitely recommend you do that. Technically speaking, EasyStone would work with the uh, CorelDRAW 64-bit version, um, but we prefer uh, that you use the 32-bit version because it's just less complicated. Now, let's talk about if you have already installed CorelDRAW 64-bit, you already have it registered and licensed on your computer, you can actually go to the CorelDRAW website and you can click on free trials here. And when you click on download trial, it will give you the option to either install the 32-bit or 64-bit version of CorelDRAW. So you would just go ahead and download and install the 32-bit version and then you'll have both versions on your computer, um, but you won't have to register it or anything. That that Because that trial will recognize that you've already registered the 64-bit version, it will automatically uh, register your 32-bit version. All right, so now getting past that, once you have CorelDRAW X6 32-bit installed, the next thing is, is actually installing Easy Stone. So let's go over here to the website here and I'm going to click on Rhinestone Design Shop and you can see here you have your account. I'm going to click on that and then you have your order tab and then we should see our previous orders here. So let me find my previous order. Now this is really what I want you to cue in on here. If you look here, now we're talking about CorelDRAW X6 because that's where we're going to install it. If you look here, there are two separate installers. Now this is where a lot of people get confused. We are using CorelDRAW X6 32-bit, but because I'm using a Windows 64-bit computer, I want to make sure that I download this one, Windows 64-bit for CorelDRAW X6. If I was using a 32-bit Windows machine, then, of course, I would install the Windows 32-bit version. A lot of people get confused here and think, oh, we got to install the 32-bit version because I'm using CorelDRAW X6 32-bit. No, this is for what version of Windows you're running. Now, if you don't know what version of Windows you're running, there's, an easy, there's two easy ways to test this out. Um, let me show you both ways. An easy way to test what version of Windows you're running is just to open up Windows Explorer, come down to Computer, and open up your C drive. If you see Program Files and Program Files x86, dead giveaway, you're using a 64-bit computer. If you only see Program Files, then you're only using Windows 32-bit. Also, on your desktop, there should be a computer or my computer icon. If you right-click on that and choose properties, you'll get this window right here. And it will tell you then, under your system settings, it'll tell you how much RAM you have, and it will tell you uh, what your operating system is here. And you can see it says 64-bit operating system. So that's how you tell if you're using Windows 32-bit uh, or Windows 64-bit and also how you can go about downloading the proper uh, download file and installation file for EasyStone.
Now, once you've downloaded Easy Stone, if you open up your macro manager, uh, what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and close our macro manager for a moment. What you'll want to do is you want to go to your tools menu, come down to macros, and open up your macro manager. Then you should see right here, it should say Easy Stone version 3. If, if it doesn't show up here after you've reopened CorelDRAW, it's almost a dead giveaway if it does not show up here that you did not use the proper installer. You may have thought you did, but you simply didn't. If you did, it would absolutely be here. And there's only two. So, um, so it should be pretty straightforward as far as getting it installed. And then, of course, once you have it installed, you have to register it for the first time. But once, once you register it that first time, then you don't have to worry about that. So that is what you got to do to get this properly installed. So let's just kind of recap things. Let's go backwards here and recap. So we know we need the CorelDRAW 32-bit version. Download trial. Make sure you download the 32-bit version and install the 32-bit version. Then once you've done that, we have to determine if you're using Windows 64-bit or Windows 32-bit. And we know how to do that the, the kind of the low-tech way, which is to open up Windows Explorer, go to our C drive, and look for Program Files x86. Everything's alphabetical here. If you, if you do have x86, then you're definitely using Windows 64-bit. If you don't have that folder, then you're using Windows 32-bit. Okay, and then of course we have to go ahead and install. Let's go back over here. We have to install with the proper installer. So either if we're using CorelDRAW X5, we either are going to use the Windows 64-bit or 32-bit installer. And likewise for CorelDRAW X6, we are either going to use the 64-bit Windows installer or the 32-bit Windows installer. All right, and then of course once you have that, we're going to go to the Tools menu, Macros, Macro Manager, it definitely should show up here in the list, and if it doesn't, then almost assuredly you did not use the proper installer. Okay, so it should be pretty straightforward. Follow those steps, and you should have no problem getting Easy Stone properly installed. Thanks for watching.